Hi, welcome to another video. This one's going to be about uh, Peugeot diesel particulate filters. Got an error on my display when I start up. There we are. Info. Risk of filter blocking. Now I get that every time I start up. The car's done 135,000 miles and I also get this warning triangle but it's cost me £49.50 to get a definitive answer why that message comes up. So I bought this uh, diagnostic tool for this newer car. Bought it from uh, Diagnostic World and I believe they're up near Newcastle, Sunderland, somewhere, you know, tiny where, that sort of area. Got it within two days. I believe they advertise on YouTube too. This one's specifically for a Peugeot and Citroen. So if I go into Diagnosis, Peugeot. So unlike the previous scan tool you might have seen me use, this does the engine, gearbox, airbags, diesel particulate system. It won't do a regen or anything clever like that. So if I go, you can see all the Peugeots. It's £99, so I should get paid for advertising. I actually contacted him the other day, he said, I've got this warning come up. They're actually pretty clued up. He said about this warning, yes they do a tool, but the cheapest one's sort of £350 or more. So 308. Manual. Well right, so you've got the engine. If I go into the engine first. Read detected trouble codes. So I've got the engine running. Right, so this has actually been cleared by the dealer. So no detected trouble codes. Which I'm surprised about. Read DTC. I'll just try that again because I've just driven sort of 10 miles home. No DTCs. Now if I go to data display. Down to dust filter, so that's our French FAP says French uh, filter a particles or something. So filter a particulate. I haven't got a French accent and I can't speak French, so that's the diesel particulate filter. Go down to there. Right, I've had this car for five, six weeks uh, and been getting an error message every time I start the engine. So if you scroll down, look, is that engine speed, particle emission filter load, 5.49%, catalytic converter, temperature, weight of additive in PEF, so that's a particulate filter, it's 115 grams. Volume of additive remaining in reservoir, so I'll, I'll, put a, I'll put up a couple of pictures. You've got one for the 307, 308, all the other variants in between. But I haven't got pictures for those. So if you've got a fairly late vehicle, sort of 2002 onwards, uh, up until the Euro 6, which they've now started using AdBlue, they've got an additive tank underneath. The particulate filter filters out tiny particles of soot that harmful to or well, harmful to the human body primarily the particles are so small that if inhaled they're not expelled you don't cough them up so the particulate filter stores all this soot and burns it off every sort of couple of hundred kilometers now you think well if you're burning it off you're just putting it back into the atmosphere but now when it's burnt the soot that comes out of the exhaust it's actually bigger particles so if you inhale a bigger particle, you're obviously going to cough it up. So this picks up the tiny particles that the you know, the lungs won't exhale. That's the idea of the particulate filter. So the particulate filter has an inlet pressure and an exhaust pressure. And by looking at the differential pressure across the two, we can see how much of a restriction there is in the particulate filter. And then that's how the engine management knows when you need to do a regeneration. 
and during the regeneration on a Peugeot, on a regular Peugeot car that's at anything over 40 miles an hour for sort of 20 minutes. In reality I've seen a regen happen on this car in less than 10 minutes. So that's the differential pressure at idle. So we've got 11.76 millibar. If I rev it up, it's a bit slow to respond. You can see it jumping up 19 millibar. When it needs a regen, the static pressure is sort of up near 20 millibar. Once it's just regenerated and the soot has been burnt out, that drops to sort of two or three millibar. So then you've got intake, temperature, scroll down, airflow, so 19.61 liters per hour at idle. Right, this is the important bit. When I first got this car six weeks ago, the average cycles between regen was 75 kilometers. Now that's pretty low. 75 kilometers is pretty low, so that means the car was driven around town, somewhere in Nottingham, uh, and it was having to regen every 75 kilometers. Now I've started to do longer runs, that regen period is coming up. Apparently a good car, a good Peugeot anyway, that regen figures is up sort of three, 400 kilometers. Well, looking down here, and I've not even noticed till just now, distance traveled since last regen, zero kilometers. I'm not sure if the Peugeot dealer did a regen in the workshop or it's had a regen just driving home. But you see my regen now, for the last five cycles, has gone up from an average of 75 to 282. And apparently, as I say, good figure, three to 400 kilometers. Yeah, I'm wondering about this zero. So it must have regened either on the way home or the garage must have just done it and then this tool hasn't added the last few kilometers. So if I go back to this read DTCs, this is odd because what the Peugeot technician told me was as part of the regen cycle, the glow plugs need to work and they heat up the chamber to, to manage the emissions and they're also used as part of the regen. And he said I had a continuous fault, which I had seen before on this device, is the power relay to the glow plugs was sort of permanent. He's obviously cleared the fault, and since driving home, that permanent fault's now gone. So I was going to explain to you, if you've got that message, you've possibly got glow plug fault, or like a power relay fault, and the power relay is reference to those glow plugs. So I'll just start that up once more. In for risk of filter blocking. So looking at that, I thought it wasn't regenerating, but it is regenerating. And the figure, as I say, has gone up from 75 to sort of, call it 300 kilometers. So we're on, on the good track. But what he's just told me about the glow plug relay and the glow plugs, he said one was open circuit. Uh, this ECU has now contradicted what he said because the fault isn't present at the moment yet I still get that warning and he said I'll continue to get that warning because it can't heat the chamber to heat the gas and heat the soot to clean the diesel particulate filter efficiently and because of that I also sometimes get a turbo under boost and he said I'll get an intermittent turbo under boost because the turbo obviously feeds the exhaust and diesel particulate filter. He said if it's partially blocked and it's not being cleared enough, you're getting turbo boost pressure uh, lost because of a blocked exhaust or, you know, a reduction uh, in the exhaust system. So this uh, fluid, I've shown you the two tanks, this uh, FAP fluid or DPF fluid, the fuel additive, it's there to apparently yeah, make the soot burn at a lower temperature. Uh, that fluid on these Peugeot certainly is about 25 pound a litre. Uh, and those ta tanks hold, I don't know, three, four litres. I'm going to have to keep an eye on this display because now that glow plug fault is gone, um, it's, it's odd, it's bizarre because he said because of the glow plug fault, that's why I've got my error messages. And I haven't cleared 
the faults. I drove 10 miles back from the dealership. It looks like it's just carried out a regeneration, maybe on the way home. Yeah, I still get that error. So has it got to regen sort of four, five, six times before that message goes out? On a Peugeot computer system, so this car, as I say, 135,000 miles, it's 2009, uh, so it's sort of five years out of warranty. The Peugeot system says this particulate filter is sort of 65% used up. So if you're getting similar messages, you haven't got to rush and get your diesel particulate filter done. Uh, if you've got turbo under boost, doesn't mean you've got to stick a new turbo on it. You know, you've got to start looking at the glow plugs because this Peugeot technician said the glow plugs uh, are used as part of the regen circuit as well. So hopefully this has given you some insight. So if you've got that message, uh, nothing to worry about immediately. You know, find a, a decent garage who know what they're doing. Unfortunately, Peugeot do charge £49.50 for half an hour, uh, but you do get a definitive answer. But that said, my definitive answer, this had said no faults. So I'll do that once again, bearing in mind I've driven 10 miles home from the dealership, read DTCs, no detected trouble goes. And I did have that sort of uh, heater relay power fault, uh, as he described. And he said all the time that's present, it's not gonna regen properly. So I don't know, maybe his magic computer has cleared it properly, you don't know. If I get any more information, I'll update you. Thank you very much.